This station produces 5,760 units of pure water per day. And this upgraded station produces the same amount in contaminated areas. I will show you how to build both stations, including their improved versions, and explain the math behind them. So each osmosis water purifier produces one unit of pure water from two units of dirty water per minute and has four slots, which means it can produce four units of pure water per minute, 240 units per hour, or 5,760 units per day. To fill its production capacity, you need to produce twice as much dirty water, that is 8 units per minute or 480 units per hour. In regular uncontaminated areas of the map, each pump extracts 24 units of dirty water every 5 minutes, or 288 units per hour. This means you need 2 pumps to produce 480 units of dirty water per hour. Based on these calculations, we can build the simplest water purification station, which will consume 30 watts of power. First place one small square foundation, and build a section for the water tank using small square walls. These walls are not only for decoration, but also for electronics. Inside the section place the water tank. Don't forget to enable grid snap with the caps lock key, this will make construction much easier. After that place two pumps above the water tank, as shown in the video. Build a platform of three small square foundations at the back of the structure, and place a water purifier on the middle part. Now you can remove the side foundations. On the side wall, install a wall terminal and two switches. Connect the right switch to the water purifier, and the left one to the water pumps. This way you can temporarily turn off each of the modules. Dirty water from the pumps should flow into the water purifier through pipes, and pure water will flow into the storage tank. As you understand, the wall terminal will need to be connected to a power source. This is a minimal station, and it is not bad but I think you agree that it will be useful to have a reserve of dirty water, which is necessary for crafting boiled water. To do this, you should add a buffer tank, and install it directly on the tank with pure water. On top, install any ceiling in two pumps. Dirty water from the pumps should go to the upper buffer tank, from where it is transported to the water purifier. Since two pumps extract more dirty water than one water purifier can process, the buffer tank will fill up over time. You can temporarily turn off the pumps to save energy and take dirty water from this tank for your needs. Don't forget to add a staircase, for easy access to the buffer tank. Now it looks much better, but you probably want to have control over the distribution of your pure water, and keep some in reserve. For this, build an additional section of small square foundations, and install as many water tanks as you need. Disconnect the lower tank, it now serves only as a stand for the upper one, so you can install a ceiling. Now, to distribute the pure water among the new tanks evenly, you should connect them directly to the water purifier. According to my tests, each pipe transports one unit of liquid every 5 seconds, so you can't use the lower tank for distribution. If there's one pipe at the input, and several at the output, the tanks will fill up sequentially. To control the water supply to different segments of your base, you'll need wall-mounted pumps. They should be installed above the level of the tanks, and before installing the tanks themselves, as shown in the video. If this stops working after the next patch, you can add additional small square walls on top. Then install switches that will control the operation of the wall pumps. This way, you can control the water supply by turning them on and off as needed. I recommend leaving one of the tanks unconnected as an untouchable reserve of pure water for your daily needs, such as for your animals and cooking. Animal ranching guide and detailed guide on building new updated crop farms will appear very soon, and you won't miss them if you subscribe to the channel. As for contaminated areas, your pumps will also extract polluted water. As I explained in the video about building an acid factory, to extract dirty or sea water, pumps should be placed as close to the water source as possible. In this case, during each first iteration, the pumps will extract 4 units of polluted water, and during each second iteration, 24 units of dirty or sea water. Simply put, we will extract half as much dirty water, which means we need 4 pumps instead of 2 to fill the production capacity of one water purifier. Remove the rear platform with the osmosis water purifier, and install 2 additional pumps on top of the previous ones. Then rebuild the rear platform. Don't forget to connect the water purifier and new pumps, to the system, with pipes and wires. The most important thing is to manually fill all 4 slots of your water purifier with dirty water right away. The buffer water tank we have already built, will prevent polluted water from entering the osmosis water purifier, and the station will work stably. Note that if you connect the pumps directly to the water purifier, polluted water will still get into its slots when you are offline, at least that's how it works at the time of recording this video. Such a station produces the same 5760 units of pure water per day, 
but requires 52 watts of power instead of 32 due to the additional pumps, and you'll have to periodically manually remove polluted water from the buffer tank. If you need more energy, the electric yield deviation can help, allowing you to generate over 300 watts of power, so be sure to check out the video in the suggestion. You can also expand this structure by building an additional module, and then production will increase to 11,520 units of pure water per day. The scheme is the same, one osmosis water purifier per two pumps in regular regions, or four pumps in contaminated areas. However producing such a huge amount of pure water is pointless, so it would be wiser to use the second osmosis water purifier to process polluted water. Expand the rear platform, and install a separate tank for storing impure acid. After this add an additional switch on the side wall, and connect it to the second water purifier. Filling its production capacity will require as many as 20 pumps, so the module will operate in semi-automatic mode, and you'll need to turn it on only when you are offline. During the day, the buffer tank will accumulate polluted water at a rate of 96 units per hour. The water purifier processes it at a rate of 480 units per hour, so the buffer tank will lose 384 units of polluted water per hour. As you understand, all four slots of this water purifier must be manually filled with polluted water in advance, to prevent anything else from entering. And of course you can slightly move the stairs to the side, to hide the pipes. This is the only way to separate dirty and polluted water that I could come up with. I tried using irrigation facilities and brewing barrels as filters, since they only accept pure water. Unfortunately none of this works, because pure water cannot be extracted from them using pipes. Also as you may already know, Water purifiers in Once Human are buggy, and start processing everything when the player is offline. However if you leave both water purifiers from this build running overnight, the first will only process dirty water, and impure acid will not end up in the output tanks. The second water purifier will first process all the polluted water from the buffer tank, and then gradually start filling with dirty water. But you can automate production even more, by slightly modifying the build. Expand the rear platform and rotate the water purifiers 90 degrees to save space. Move the tank closer to them. Install a brewing barrel on the freed up spot, connect it to the tank and to the second water purifier at the same time. Now the extra foundation blocks can be removed. Don't forget to add a switch for this barrel on the side wall, and some steps for easy access. You can also connect the impure acid tank to your farm irrigation line, and the excess pure water will be automatically extracted from it. Now we have truly automated everything we could, and I hope you will like it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more interesting builds and once human guides. As always thank you for watching and, bye.